everybody welcome back to another vlog i'm on my way to the long beach flea market today which i've never done before i'm going to meet up with karina and alexa the usual thrift crew i am so excited to see them and catch up i haven't seen them in like i don't know a month almost oh wowie good morning i'm about 15 or so minutes away and it has been <laughs> It's been a rough few days, let me tell you. I don't even really know where to begin, but it started with, I think, Layla going in for her consultation before her surgery, and I want to say like a week ago or so, um, Layla went to her ophthalmologist. She got prescribed some drops and some like eye ointment to do in the meantime before her procedure. And long story short, she ended up having like a reaction to one of the medications and it was really scary she wouldn't open her eye it was like a whole thing um yeah had a nervous breakdown of course so i called the vet and was like what is going on like she's clearly it's burning her eye <laughs> like clearly whatever's going on and they were like okay stop taking that so the actual day of her procedure we just dropped her off and then like stayed close by because they said it was only gonna take like three to four hours and it took like six but that's a whole other story <laughs> anyways we just like popped around town did a little bit of shopping stopped into some thrift stores we went to urban outfitters we went to this really cool barnes and noble that used to be like an old movie theater we were just trying to like calm our nerves honestly um it's just a really stressful situation and then after the surgery or the procedure which if you missed like the vlog where I talked about it she has I can't remember the name of the tumor but she had a tumor on her lower eyelid that had developed over the last like few months and she needed to get that removed so luckily she was able to do that with like sedation and then they use cryotherapy to like freeze it off but anyway that surgery or that procedure and like the combination of just the stress on her as a senior dog as well as just like physically being there and probably pacing around and stressing out for hours and hours it was really really bad um the recovery was really really bad it was almost as bad as like when she had her leg surgery or when she got her teeth pulled yeah i mean i fully had like a mental breakdown and was sobbing and it was awful and i'm like i know that i feel probably like complainy when it comes to stuff with my dog but like this is what's going on in my life like this is my current situation so this is what is going on and this is what i'm going to talk about so it was a really really rough few days Layla was not herself at all i genuinely think she was traumatized it was terrible and so it was a rough few days and then she kind of turned a corner and we started seeing some like light come back into her eyes and she started like wagging her tail started like wanting us to pet her like showing us her belly like all that kind of stuff but yeah it was really 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 horrible and I'm glad that, you know, we got it done, but I will never put her through something like that again. From this point forward, Drew and I both decided, we were like, this is it. Like this, you know, anything else we're just gonna have to deal with for the rest of her life and just make sure that she's as comfortable and as happy as possible. She did celebrate her 12th birthday recently. So we had like a nice little evening. It was actually on Valentine's day. We always celebrate her birthday on Valentine's day. So we had like our little Valentine's thing and then her birthday thing. So anyways, all that to say, that's what I've been up to. That has taken up all of my time, literally over the last like week and I'm exhausted. Drew and I actually did take a little hike yesterday. We went to Runyon and um, oh my God. I feel so stupid because moving to LA like the first time I made the mistake of not reading meters or leaving my car like past the point of the meter time or whatever and getting like a very expensive ticket. But I feel like I've gotten pretty good at reading the parking signs and being good about it. So anyways, yesterday we start seeing that there's just like lines of cars parked on either side of the street. So we're like, oh, let's just like avoid stressful parking, like park behind these cars and just walk up to the trail. So we did that, we did the trail. On our way back from the trail, we were watching cars getting hauled off and being towed. And I was like, oh my God, like is my car still there? And there were so many parking enforcement officers around writing everybody tickets and i was like oh my god i didn't even look at the sign that said you cannot park here or you will get towed and i was like oh. so by the time i got to my car my car did have a ticket but it was not towed thank god however i'm going to give you a little bit of real life here um that ticket was 93 dollars, and that one hurt that hurt to pay it was nine <coughs> see i'm choking it was 90 dollars for a parking ticket i feel like that is criminal never follow the crowd no no always check always make sure because every single person i mean there were like 50 cars 
every single person got a ticket and we were watching people get towed too so that really really sucked so anyways that hike wasn't worth it but i mean i'm glad we went there's pretty views and stuff we'll be absolutely finding different parking next time oh my god terrible anyways this has been an entirely too long clip but we're just catching up it's like we're in the car together it's like we're driving around together chit chatting in the car that's what's going on with me thank you for listening to me trauma dump everything's good now like i feel so so much better so let's head to long beach i don't think i've ever been to long beach actually and we're gonna go to this fun flea market i'm filming a main channel video so you'll see that probably before you see this and we will catch up with you in a bit with the girlies Hello, it is the next day now and we're heading out to go to Erwan because some of our friends are coming over. Josh and Noelle are gonna come over here because we're gonna plan our trip for Japan. We're gonna just like book some things in advance. There are some things that we're gonna do just like and wing it. Some things we're gonna do separately, some things we're gonna do together, but we just wanna book like a few things that like the reservations open up a month beforehand. So we're like right around the month mark. So we're so excited. I'm gonna grab some sunglasses. We're gonna head to Erwan because we uh, have become those people. I'm sorry. Sorry, I just, it's so much fun for me to go to Erewhon and just like look at fancy groceries and things that are just not available at the typical grocery store. It just makes me feel excited. It's like something new and different. Layla does have her cone on this morning, but she's been doing really, really well. We're gonna attempt to take it off tomorrow. If you hear her squeaking in the background, it's cause I'm talking about her. We're gonna attempt to take the cone off tomorrow and see if she's able to do it. They said after day five, we can test to see how she does without the cone. And then if she still messes with her eye, we have to put it back on for two more days. So anyways, here's Miss Way was. Hi, hi sweet girl. Say my eye is doing okay. After surgery, I'm just being a sweet angel. You're making it seem very sad, but you were just playing earlier. It's okay. There's your Layla update. Things are looking up after the last few days. It was like pretty freaking rough there for a second. So anyway, all right. We are going to head to Air One. Because we can. Why not? It's just a fun little thing we like to do. We've got some laundry going. Oh, as an update, I think I mentioned this. Yeah, I did for sure because you guys heard the sound in the vlog, but we did replace or we did get our ice maker replaced from Best Buy and we've actually moved it over next to the sink. So it's actually more convenient because then when we need to like clean it, you just put the little hoses like into the sink right here. So we sanitized it, cleaned it. I don't know why I said we because Drew did the entire thing, but um, <laughs> it's starting to fill up with ice again. So we'll see how it goes and how long it lasts. Hopefully it doesn't make that horrendous noise again. Oh my God, it was so traumatizing. People thought it was moo. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, fair. Yeah. Fair play. True. All right, let's go get some fancy snacks and like natural wine or something. Let's do it. The fact that I'm just getting out of my car and this is the view to walk into the grocery store. Sorry, that's just insane. This is why, this is why we moved here. <laughs> everybody today has started out as a great day and we're actually getting some work done today after all is said and done i have had some lazy time i actually was going to meet up with a friend today oh my god you can perfectly see where my pimple patch was i don't think i like washed it off enough before i put on my makeup i feel like i can see the adhesive <laughs> 
Anyways, it's time to get some work done. I was actually gonna meet up with a friend at the Grove and then we were gonna like hang out for a bit and then I was gonna film a fitting room video, but she had something come up at home so she has to head home. So I'm gonna head to the Grove, I'm gonna film a fitting room video and then I'm just trying to like stack up videos for the next few weeks because I will be going on like a big trip. So I just wanna make sure that I don't have to worry about that and that's like already pre-scheduled and ready to go while I'm gone because I made that mistake in the past for sure. I just finished watching Kelsey Ballerini's interview on like Call Her Daddy, I think it's called, the podcast. And it was actually really good. I have been seeing all of her TikToks recommended to me recently. She's a country singer. I'm not really like a country girly, sorry. I know I'm like from Nashville. I know my dad was in like the music industry. It's just not, it's just not my vibe, I'm sorry. I love 90s country, like early 2000s and all that. But I had been seeing like a ton of her TikToks. I had never listened to her music before and I had been seeing a ton of TikToks about this new like EP that she released about her divorce and it's fascinating. The short film that she created like around the EP was amazing. I thought the songs were really good and so I watched her interview. So that's how I spent my time getting ready this morning. I just got dressed. I'm wearing kind of like a very casual, loose, comfy outfit because I'm gonna be changing a lot. So why does it even matter? So here are the details. I just have this white cropped tee. This is from Everlane, I believe. I finally just like invested in a really nice one because I was tired of going through all like the cheap ones. This jacket is thrifted. I think I got this at the Rose Bowl flea market. It's so comfortable. I love it. These pants, I think I got on thread up. They're maybe from like H&M. I honestly don't remember. I don't remember. Or maybe I bought these from H&M. And then these Adidas Sambas I got on Poshmark. Oh, and then these sunglasses and earrings are from Amazon. So anyways, that's today's look. My hair looks like this because it is extremely dirty and I just decided to slick it back. That's what we're going with. So we're gonna head in the car, go to the fitting room, film this video, and then we will catch up in a little bit. Drive in reverse when the summer ends. You got me high, you got me thinking I want it. All right, just finished up with the fitting room video. It did not go the way that I thought it was going to, but I'm right next to a Sephora. So I might as well, obviously. And you got me. I think I'm gonna actually stop by this coffee shop that I'm seeing everywhere on TikTok. I'm so sorry if it's loud. Um, it's very, very windy right now. I've been seeing this coffee shop everywhere on TikTok and everyone said it's really good. And I'm like, could it be that good? It's not Alfred. It's called La La Land. So let's try it out. It's called the La La Latte. It has a cute little like thing on the lid that you just take off and try it. So I think it has honey, some kind of milk, I don't actually know, espresso, and ice. It looks really cute. This does sort of feel like um, gimmicky in a way, but we'll see if it's actually good. Cheers. I'm just looking around and everyone else has straws on theirs. Am I supposed to put a straw in? There's like a little hole to drink it out of. I don't know. I'm gonna give it like a seven and a half out of ten. It's good. I wouldn't like ever come here just to get it. But like if I was ever here and wanted to get a coffee, which like I feel like that's one thing that the Grove has actually been needing is like some good coffee, like a good coffee shop. So I mean, hey, I'll take it. So anyways, let's head back to the car. I'm gonna show you my little Sephora haul and then head home and do some more editing. What a fun little lunch break. When you got your hands in my All right, fam. We made it back in the car. 
I'm gonna do a mini Sephora haul for you, cause why not? I don't know what I'm doing with this angle, okay? Whatever. It is so windy, and luckily I slicked my hair down, but man, it is really struggling. So, you know, walking into Sephora with the best of intentions and then walking out spending $152 is kind of the story of my life. I feel like Sephora has become my new target. So I got a few different foundations, and by a few I mean two. I got, these are just like refills. Um, this one is the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation, and I got this in the color 150. I have this one, I'm running low on it so just restocking with another one this is a really good like full coverage wear it all day kind of foundation and this is in like my lighter shade so I try to keep like a couple different foundations because this is like for when I'm my palest and then I will also have a darker one for when I'm my darkest and then I'll like mix them when I'm in between don't look at today because I feel like my foundation doesn't match today but this one is actually different than the one I originally had I always get the Too Faced Born This Way foundation but they were out of like the normal one and so this is the born this way matte foundation and it's like oil controlling it's like a 24 hour so i think it's more of a like full coverage long wearing foundation but i thought i would try it oh god it's breaking this is in the shade vanilla so i'll let you know how that goes and we'll see if it ends up being good and then this is exciting this is the urban decay heavy metal glitter eyeliner i've been seeing so many cuties wearing so much cute eyeliner lately i particularly got this for my Taylor Swift look, but also just for funsies. I got the shade Glam Rock and like, look at this. <sighs> Can you even? Like this in my crease or on top of my eyeliner, like as like a double winged liner. So cute, so fun. It reminds me of high school. I used to love that kind of stuff. So I got that. And then finally, I got this JVN, which is Jonathan Van Ness's brand. It's called the Complete Blowout Styling Milk. Silicone-free, sulfate-free, color-safe, and vegan. And basically, it says add one to two pumps in your hands and put it on your damp hair and then blow dry with a round brush. So I think this is like moisturizing, but also kind of like a mousse at the same time. And I saw a girl who has like amazingly perfect hair on Instagram. Instagram used this before she blew out her hair and I feel like the reason I'm having a hard time with like the Dyson and all these other like hot tools blow dryers like holding in my hair like my hair has a hard time holding the blowout look I think it's because I'm not using like any kind of product with hold in it so I'll try this out maybe in a vlog and I'll let you know but yeah that is my little Sephora haul so I'm actually gonna head home and finish editing like I mentioned I definitely need to make some lunch so I'm gonna go home do that hang out with Drew and then we will catch up in a bit. I'm home, I changed into my comfies and um, if we're getting really, really real, I had an IBS flare up when I got home. So anyways, we're gonna take it easy and just relax for a little bit. I'm actually gonna get in the bath. I just ran a bath while it's running right now and I'm gonna use like a nice lush bath bomb, just chill, watch some Love Island with Drew, of course. We've been watching every single night and it's getting so good. Thank you so much for hanging out with me over the last few days. It means a lot. I appreciate you being here and I will see you very soon in the next vlog.